Hey guys, I was going to film a tutorial, but my desk was so messy I had to clean it and then I thought, hey, why don't I do a workstation video while well, it's all nice and clean. So this is my beast of a desk. When I moved into this apartment, I had no furniture and I bought my desk and my chair. I was sleeping on the floor, didn't have dressers or anything. So this is like my priority is my art space. I also just want to do my usual disclaimer of, yes, I have a lot of stuff. I am 23 years old. I've had several years to accumulate all this stuff. And if you want to buy art supplies, just save up your money, get a part-time job, and also ask for things for your birthday and for Christmas. It's not impossible to get this stuff, and no, you do not have to be rich, because I am not rich. So, moving on. So up here is the hutch. Then we have three sides to the desk. And over on this side, there's a built-in drawer area. So, I guess I'll start over here with the hutch. I have dolls and figurines and stuff up here. These two sculptures were done by me in a sculpture class that I took as an elective. I've also got prints hanging on the walls and stuff. So I keep all my books in the middle here. So I have art books like Avengers, Tangled, Beauty and the Beast, Zelda, I got Disney books. Got some Miyazaki books, Vampire Night. I got all kinds of stuff here as well as some of my textbooks from school. This is a false book that actually just has little random knickknacks in it. In this container I just have supplies for making headbands and stuff. And this is my camcorder. Over here is where I keep things like binders and books. So I don't know, it's not really that interesting. <laughs> um, I've also got my Pokemon books for black and white. I've got some sketchbooks in here, Rubik's Cube, my uh, candle, and this this here is just an empty container that I can use for either storing stuff or putting water in when I'm painting, just pretty much anything. Over on this side, again, kind of random stuff. I have some beading magazines there, beads, envelopes, this broken glass that I use for putting water in. The tape I use to tape my camera to my lamp. I've got some floss sticks, furniture wipes because this desk gets really dusty. Copic Colorless Blender. This I believe is glaze or it's some of this uh, Mod Podge. I'm not sure which it is. I've got some triple thick glaze hiding way in the back there. And I have a spray bottle which I use for painting. And that's basically all that's in there. So just below the hutch we have this counter area. So it's got a pin board on the back, or cork board, whatever it's called. I've got pictures people have made for me and other random things tacked onto there. And here I have just different supplies I use, because, okay, I mentioned the headband thing before. I'm basically, well, I haven't worked on this in a while, but I was making headbands, just kind of mermaid themed stuff, so there's seashells and stuff on there. And there's more parts in there because I was also making hair clips and necklaces and all kinds of stuff. So this is just more pieces for making all this kind of stuff. I've got seashells and some beads. This just has a broken necklace in it. And these are just little paperweights. I don't know, they're cute. I just have them sitting here. So in this little drawer organizer, this is my little junk drawer. I keep all my inks in here and my Copic Opaque White. I've got everything from like Advil to lip gloss, breath mints, keys, tacks, little be beading tools or whatever jewelry making tools. I've got a memory card for a GameCube. I've got all kinds of junk in here. So yeah, and I also have pennies. I just keep this bag of pennies because the pennies are discontinued in Canada. So they're basically no longer in circulation. So I just have some just to keep, I guess in memory of the pennies. Then in the second drawer I have some lined paper. It's the Hello Kitty paper. I use it to write to my pen pal. And then I've got regular computer paper. Yeah, that's it for that drawer. And then this one I have just little pieces of my Express It blending card that I use for swatching for my Copic drawings. I forgot this was in here. This is my little three marker challenge picture. And then I've got just papers. I've got scrap paper. Whenever I have any scrap paper I keep it because I put it underneath my Copic drawings or underneath my paintings when I'm painting. I mentioned painting a lot already but I really don't paint much and I'm referring mostly to watercolor paints. Um, here's the Express It blending card and then at the very bottom I have my Copic marker pad which I never use because I think it's terrible paper. 
Then over here is just a little display area. I have two Copic marker drawings that I bought from Art by Karen e. Haley and I framed them and set them up here. There's my blue bear thing from my coloring on wood video. I've got some little figurines. This Eric one was given to me by my friend Jacob. Then here I have a paperweight and this little box which mostly I use for keeping my flash drives and this is an SD card adapter but there's also just random knickknacks I have yet to put away like um, split rings and keychain stuff and then here is a little needle for my art syringes so next to this I have another little drawer system and this I mostly use for pencils, pens, and erasers so the erasers go up top then I have pens and the bottom pencils and up the very top, I've just got some really old white out, a pen, and these are just cheap little pencil crayons that came in a kit. I also should mention there's actually a light underneath this hutch, so I can turn it on, and now we can see in here a little bit better. So I've gone through this before in all my workstation videos, it really hasn't changed much. I've got rulers, watercolor pencils, brush for getting rid of eraser dust, I use that a lot on my scanner actually. Prismacolor Scholar Pencils, this is a mirror, or just the back piece of the mirror, okay. <laughs> this is a little watercolor painting set. I've got spare erasers for my click eraser. I have some colored liners. I don't use them a whole lot because like if I use it with Copics it just smears, so I, just, I usually just forget I own half the stuff I have and I just forget to use it. This is my Copic color chart thingy, just to keep track of what colors I have. Okay, now it's muted. So I have my little palette for mixing watercolors, sticky notes, little notebook. Oh, and then I have this thing, which I really, really like. I got it at the Sears, and basically it folds open. I can do this with one hand. Okay, there we go. So it's waterproof on the inside, so you're supposed to put water in there and then there's slots on the side for your paint brushes. So there's slots on the two opposite ends, but I think it would have made more sense to have them on adjacent sides, because that way your brushes would be on the back side and you could reach into the water easily, but when the brushes are on opposite sides, you kind of have to reach between the brushes, but whatever, it's still really nice and I actually really like using this. Here are some pencils. Got a gold marker, white marker. This has perler beads in it. A silver marker, purple marker, not really interesting. I don't need to go over every single little item, but sandpaper, sharpener, stapler, yeah, yeah, I got some liners here. These are my really old Prisma color liners, but they still kind of work, so I keep them around. This is my colorless blender for my pencil crayons. This is just a pencil. That's a white pencil. Yeah. And over in this corner, I have my spray fixative got some Sharpies, my Prismacolor markers. This has my G pens in it as well as my Exacto knife. And then I have more pencil crayons here. These are just highlighters. And then here are all my multi-liners. So I have my Copic multi-liners here in black. Then these are my Copic multi-liners in brown, sepia, gray, and warm gray. Then I have some Micron pens back here. In the very corner, I have my light box. I have a few portfolio style books. That's where I usually put my Copic drawings. And then I think this is just a big pad of Bristol board. Here are my paint brushes inside this little cup. Here's Judy. She edits my videos. This is a little container I use to put in just more pencils and pens because honestly this thing is stuffed full. I cannot fit any more in there so I have some more in here and this is where I usually reach to grab erasers and pencils and stuff when I'm drawing. Then here I have this thing. Those of you who were around when I had my Zed Kitty Zed channel you probably remember this. I made this out of foam board and glue and tape and I didn't use it when I moved to Vancouver because I didn't want to bring too much stuff with me so it got left behind and I had a separate Copic case which I'll show you later but I now put other Copic products in there and I've since put all my Copics back in this thing which I really like because it's 
easy to see all the colors, really easy to grab them as I'm drawing. So yeah, and I guess I kind of briefly showed my posters and stuff here. That's that. And I just have a little candy bowl of top. It usually isn't sitting here, but it was sitting in my kitchen and I never ate them, so I thought I'd just bring them here so I could finally get rid of them. Oh, and there's Christian, my boyfriend. This is where I make my art videos. I've got two mats, actually. If I'm doing something messy, like painting, I'll use the bottom one, which is older. And then if I'm, ma I'm filming a video, I'll usually use this top one, because it's nicer looking. Here's my art light, and it's sitting on top of a box, just so that I get a better angle for filming, just so it's not so zoomed in. So the lamp just comes up like this, and I tape my camera to the end of my lamp, and that is how I do that. I actually have a whole video on that. Here's my tablet pen just chilling by itself. Here's a placemat because I do eat at my desk and I don't really like setting my dishes directly on the desk. So I put them all on here. So this is the computer side of my desk. Here I have my Cintiq 22 HD and then I have a, an HD monitor here. So basically I have it set up so that both monitors are being used at the same time because a dual monitor setup is so freaking nice to have. Got keyboard mouse webcam up there and then I have this is actually my business card holder but I set my phone in it because when I'm facetiming it holds my phone perfectly if you've ever struggled with that get a business card holder very very handy so it's a little hard to see but down here is my computer tower this little ball is actually a speaker and then I have a blu-ray player in the back you probably can't really see it then here is a little ottoman and the top actually opens up and you can't see anything, but I basically have a little box with some acrylic paints and my cash box for conventions. In this corner, we have a mangle of cords. I have two power bars down here because there's so much I have to plug in all the time. So yeah, just lots of cables. And here is my scanner slash printer. It's just a really cheap one. It's, a, it's an Epson NX100, I believe. So just very, very basic. It's my purse backpack purse thing just kind of was sitting on top of the printer but fell off. Over on this side I have my garbage can. Then I have this rolly bag thing. Um, I actually have all my buttons in there. They're in plastic fishing tackle boxes. So I have all my buttons in there as well as my button press and all the parts I need for making those. Up top is just this binder that I put old drawings in. This is a tabletop easel. It's just folded up. This plastic thing is actually for holding scrapbooking paper, but I use it just to hold sketches and loose drawings. Up here, this is stuff that's too big to go anywhere else. So I have stencils, I've got Bristol board, and I think watercolor paper or something. Oh wait, this is colored paper, kind of for pastels and pencils and stuff. Stuff like that. This is just an art case full of art stuff. I'll actually open up these cases in just a sec. Over here is my little three drawer system. So up top is just cables and anything to do with electronics. And the second drawer is all my stuff related to my DS basically. Um, yeah, I have three uh, DS's because this is my DS Lite, this is my 3DS, and then I got a 3DS with capture card so that I can do live streams. <laughs> Ignore the tape, that's just so that this cable doesn't spin because it makes an annoying scratching noise because that's the audio cable. So that's why it has the nasty tape on it. And in the bottom drawer is just kind of random. I've got this little pencil case, sticky things for hanging stuff on the wall. I live in an apartment, so I can't nail things to the wall, so I use those a lot. Embroidery thread, Velcro, hot glue, sticks, uh, kind of everything. This, I think, has little hole punches in it. Or did I, no, or did I move them somewhere else? Let's see. Yes, it does have little hole punches. Just kind of patterned ones like paw print, flower, all kinds of cute stuff. Also got kind of glue sticks and other hole punches, so kind of boring in this drawer. Also, I forgot to mention that on top of this case, I have some watercolor paints, as well as my 120 set of Prismacolor Premier pencils. So I realized I forgot to show the Copic case. It's nighttime now, so I'm kind of using my alt light for some light here. But underneath these drawers is the Copic bag. And like I mentioned, I don't actually keep my markers in here anymore. I just keep other Copic products. 
So I've got my empty case for my anniversary set. I have my compressor. Let's see if I can move this light over a bit. There we go. And I basically have all the little baskets that came with this because I used to keep my Copic markers in this case, as you can see in my Copic collection video. And then I just have, this is also for the airbrush system. There's air cans and the air grip and cables and stuff. So that's where I keep all of this now. So this top drawer here is basically office supplies. I've got business cards, calculators, glue runners, tacks, glue, super glue, scissors, elastics, paper clips, tape. You name it, I got it. Well, not really. Anyways, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> got an X-Acto knife, more kind of super glue stuff, hand lotion and hand sanitizer, don't know why. This little clock timer thing. So yeah, basically office supplies. This drawer is kind of a mess. I never really organize it. I've got a box full of art supplies. I've got my hot glue gun, random pair of headphones, and just more art supplies. I've got some fabric in the back that I use for crafting. And then this black thing, you can't really tell what it is. It just holds pencils and stuff. And I have also some ink for my printer underneath there. So I pulled out the boxes from underneath and pulled them up here so you could see a little easier. I've got seashells. I actually got these in Mexico a few years ago. I picked them up off the beach and kept them all. Then I've got some ribbon, some more Mod Podge that's just not in its original container. I have a whole bunch of these foamy brushes. Got some charcoal sticks, uh, kind of random bits of polymer clay. I've got these marble things, glue stick, some glitter. That's basically it for this one. In this container, there's a whole lot of beading stuff. So I've got jewelry findings in here, beads, more beads, and some polymer clay to match because I wanted to make little charms and stuff related to mermaidy things. <laughs> I'm obsessed with mermaids, okay? Anyways, uh, also have a bunch of chain, more beads, more beads, beads, beads everywhere. So underneath I have more beads, some buttons, more beads, more beads, and paints. So I've got kind of glittery ones and some pearly ones because I like to paint over some of the seashells with a white pearl paint. It just makes it look a lot nicer and a bunch of little seed beads at the bottom. This crafting kit here I've had since I was probably between 10 or 12 years old, so it's pretty old. Um, I haven't changed a whole lot of what's in it, so a lot of this is really old, but I have a bunch of keys in case I want to do some kind of key craft. Got some little sequins. They, these are actually a pair of earrings that I took apart just because they're really cool rings I could use for some kind of craft. Got these pom-poms, some makeup brushes, or sponges. I just use it for kind of blobbing paints and stuff like that. Then over here, just these weird foam hearts that I've had for years and years. I don't know if I'll ever even use these, up, but they're here in case I ever want to use them. Then inside, I have, I think these are uh, split rings, more sequins, some kind of weird forget what this is called it's craft cord it says and I have these construction paper crayons that show up on dark papers have some magnet more magnet some googly eyes and underneath pipe cleaners like this is all kind of little kiddish stuff from when I was younger it's kind of bringing back memories got some old glue more of this cord this is full of stickers so about sticker books and stuff in there more heart stickers, more cord, Spongebob tape. I actually had a Spongebob kit that came with a whole bunch of Spongebob stuff, but most of it's gone. This is like a random piece of cardboard with a hair elastic on it. What is that? And then I have origami paper and envelopes, apparently. Okay. So the main reasons I felt like doing redoing this workstation video for 2013 is one, I'm in a totally different apartment with this massive desk got to do a workstation video for that but also because a lot of my art stuff was actually in my mom's house in another province and once I finally moved out of student housing she and my stepdad brought up a bunch of furniture and a bunch of my art stuff so now I actually have everything in one spot which is also why I wanted to do this video okay so I got my art trolley back yay up top I just have 
the stuff for the giveaway. And then over here is Domo. It's a Kleenex box. In the top drawer I have pom-poms from I Made for a Football Game. This has my art syringes in it. And then I just got some loose plastic bags, empty container. I have a whole bunch of these now that my mom brought up, so I have so much more storage for my beads, which is really nice. By the way, this trolley is not very interesting like it used to be because most of my art stuff's over there. This is the stuff I don't use as often. I was actually kind of hoping this would fit under my desk, but it doesn't. Even if you take the wheels off, these handles are too high, so it's just chilling over here. Got some old glue, patterned scissors, my red and blue lead, staples, some more glue runners, white out. Yeah, not that exciting. Over here I have really old markers and then a bunch of pencil crayons that are like Crayola brand, but mostly this Laurentian brand or whatever. This over here has polymer clay. And then this is just a kit that's got sparkles in it now, but it, it was originally for more polymer clay stuff, but it's pretty empty right now. In this drawer, I've got packaging supplies for my online store. Here we've got some old chalk pastels, um, oil pastels, my Copic inking kit, but it's actually empty right now. And I got like my Sumie set some sticky notes and just notepads and stuff and some metallic pencils i forgot i had these because these are one of the things i was at my mom house mom's house so i should totally put these with my other pencils so i actually use them and another paint palette underneath here i have a whole bunch of button art printed off because my school gave free printing and so I took advantage of that while I could and printed off a whole bunch of buttons. Here's just more envelopes and packaging supplies. Oh, I also have a whole bunch of old artwork under there. This is kind of like a little junk drawer. I've got more of these plastic containers, metal sheets, an empty uh, photo album, got some ribbons, sewing supplies, random leopard beads, huge block of notepad thing, and uh, I almost said stamps, uh, sponges. Over here I have some canvas that I got at the dollar store. Here's a bunch of watercolor paper. I've got, I think, a marker pad, bristle board, water, more watercolor paper at the bottom, just where I keep all my different paper pads. Here I have a bunch of colored cardstock. I do have a whole bunch of scrapbooking supplies. They're not at my desk, but um, I haven't done it in a long, long time, but I need to get back into that and finish my scrapbooks. Here's some lined paper, more of the Hello Kitty paper, as well as the leader paper. And then I have just some scrap paper. It's actually in newsprint, and I just kind of pour it out of the book and put it in here just for more scrap paper to put under my drawings while I work. Here I have this odorless terpenoid stuff. It supposedly helps kind of melt your pencil crayons to make the color smoother but this was actually at my mom's house and I did have a small jar of it here but I forgot I had it so I haven't really used it on any of my drawings so I'll definitely have to experiment with this and maybe make a video on it. So I have a whole bunch more of these plastic containers. Then I have some spray paint down there. Actually, is that all spray paint? Oh, one of it's a it's kind of silicone lubricant stuff for my button machine, but it doesn't really work that well. So yeah. And then I have this little box of paper clips and this little Christmas container. Basically just has stuff I was using to make my ornaments last year. I've got some wire cookie cutters, some gingy ribbon, uh, some green ribbon, and then I've got little charms, like little gingerbread men, snowmen, I've got some Christmas trees somewhere. Just really cute little items I got at the dollar store that I can use for crafting. I've been carrying this microphone around everywhere I go, so if you see it a lot in my videos, it's because I'm using it to record the sound right now. So yeah, that is my workstation. And my chair is over here now because I was just in there, but I'll do a quick little view of my living room. I'm not going to do a whole apartment tour, but I've got a couple couches. Loki is over there with his box. Got this little fold-up table. 
This is my balcony. I've got some chairs out there and some carpet. It's just really nice going out there with that rug. Fan, tripod, lamp. Okay, I don't need to show everything. <laughs> Here's my little TV stand just with my game consoles and my DVDs and Blu-rays. And my kitchen is back there. And over there, around the corner, is bedroom and bathroom. So, yeah, that is it. And, uh, yeah, if you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to ask. I'm not going to remember where I bought most of this stuff, but, hey, it doesn't hurt to ask. So, that is my workstation. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's my sanctuary. I sit here all day, every day. So, yes, that is it. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.